How can we crop a photo in Adobe Express? After you log in, on this home page, select Photo. And there's an option to start the project from your photo. So that's what we need to do. All right, I select the picture from my hard drive, and now I will create a new project based on that picture. I want to maintain the original aspect ratio. All right, so here we are. If I double tap on the image, I will turn on cropping mode when I can crop the image as I want. You can also maintain the original aspect ratio. Right now I'm in the free form, but if I move to original, I will be cropping this with the original aspect ratio. If you need a square, there's also option for that. When we can crop a perfect square, And there's even a circle or overcropping mode as well. If you are happy with your results, we can simply click out. And then you are out from the cropping tool. All of your changes are automatically applied. If you double tap your picture again, or you click crop here on the left side, you will be back inside the cropping tool where you can click reset. And this way you can back to the original ratio of your image. Again, you click outside and we are back here. Click on the image, crop, and then you can select some presets like different shapes. Or you can simply crop it manually using freeform or maintaining the original aspect ratio. If you are happy with your results, you may also consider changing the size of the whole paper here. Unfortunately, right now it's a premium feature. So if you want a custom size of your artboard, you will need to pay premium for that it's a bit strange because it should be a really basic feature all right let's just download this new version to our computer and here it is we got a new version unfortunately with those white bars all right i hope this was helpful most of the time we will kind of use crop as the part of the bigger design putting images into circles, moving them around. So that shouldn't be a big problem if you set up your project in the correct size from the beginning. I hope this was helpful. I will see you in the next tutorial.